In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. This is my day. This is my daily bread. Your very word spoken to me. It is Friday, the 15th of September, 2023. 23rd week in ordinary time, and today we keep the memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. This devotion to Our Lady of Sorrows flourished in the Middle Ages. And if you asked about the Middle Ages, I would explain to you that we are referring to the period between 500 AD and 1500 AD. That is the Middle Ages, known as the Medieval Period. It was around the devotion of Our Lady of Sorrows that the hymn Stabat Mater Dolorosa was composed. At the cross a station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. If you have ever heard of that song, During the Way of the Cross, that's what we use during Lent. And it was composed in the Middle Ages. Although it is officially celebrated today, the day after the Feast of the Exhortation of the Holy Cross, popular devotion in many parts of the Mediterranean celebrates it with processions on the Friday before Holy Week. That is why it is connected to the hymn that we use during the Stations of the Cross, Stabat Mata. Participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following deliberate members. Gloriose Mwingabire Karake from Chigali, Rwanda, celebrating our birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Mercy Wambua, celebrating our birthday today from Vika, Kenya, takes for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Alex Mafuti, celebrating his priestly anniversary today from Gweru Diocese in Zimbabwe. Let us pray. O God, who willed that when your son was lifted high on the cross, his mother should stand close by and share his suffering, grant that your church, participating with the Virgin Mary in the Passion of Christ, may merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. I formally blasphemed but I received mercy. The beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 1 to 2 verse 12 to 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by command of God our Savior and of Christ Jesus our hope, to Timothy, my true child in the faith, grace, mercy and peace from God the Father, and Christ Jesus our Lord. I thank him who has given me strength for this, Christ Jesus our Lord, because he judged me faithful by appointing me to his service, though I formally blasphemed and persecuted and insulted him. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, And the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm chapter 16, verse 1 to 2a and 5, verse 7 to 8 and verse 11. 
Response is taken from Psalm chapter 16, verse 5a. And the response is, It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. You yourself who secure my lot. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, bliss forever. It is you, O Lord, who are my portion. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia! Blessed is the blessed Virgin Mary, for without dying she merited the psalm of martyrdom at the foot of the Lord's cross. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother, and the disciple whom he loved, standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciples took her to his own home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Memorial of Our Lady of Sorrows. Yesterday we celebrated the exhortation of the cross and beneath that cross was a woman who knew what pain is. Beneath that cross was Mary who saw her son dying slowly. That's painful. And when we celebrate a memorial like this, we are thinking of so many parents, so many mothers who see their own children dying slowly. Some are dying of other diseases, and we want to say, May Mary, mother of sorrows, intercede for these mothers who have known a lot of pain in taking care of these children. We want to pray today for all those women who have to go through a lot in order to raise their own children. May Mary, mother of sorrows, intercede for them. We see this woman at the cross in the gospel passage that we read today. And as she is there, Jesus in his pain gives her to the church. To the beloved disciple, behold your mother. And to Mary, behold your son. And from that moment we are told, he took her home. We don't know what happened after that. That's where the story ends. The story ends where the church takes Mary home. And this explains to us something, that Mary is a companion in our lives that we must take home. Don't leave her anywhere. Take her home because she understands suffering. She understands what we all go through. Take her home with you. Take her home with you. She's given to us at the moment of pain. She's given to us at the moment of suffering. 
And she comes to our aid when things are rough and tough. Take her home with you. I don't know what is happening in your house. I don't know what confusion you are going through. You are disturbed. You are disoriented. You don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Somehow your plans have been destroyed. Take her home. Jesus is saying, behold your mother. And as a mother... She will cry on our behalf. She will intercede for us. And when you say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in this confusion of our lives. Pray for us sinners now in this disappointment and brokenness of our lives. Pray for us sinners now in this sickness that we face, in this confusion of our health. Pray for us sinners now in the broken relationships we have. Pray for us in us now in this financial confusion we are facing. A woman who understands pain, who understands sorrows, is going to intercede for us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Friday to you. Thanks be to God. This is my daily bread. Your very word. Spoken to me. And I I'm desperate for you And I I'm lost without you Your bed.